this is a reading for Leo for May 2021. This is a collective reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. It is just for Leo in general. So let's get started. Let's see what you need to know here in May. Okay, so this is the energy you are moving away from, and this is the energy you're moving into. So if there's been any sort of sadness or disappointment, um, that is coming to an end, that is coming to a close. Um, it looks like you've been dreaming a lot, uh, dreaming a lot about the future, your goals, um, coming up with maybe some inspiration, um, really wanting some freedom, some inspiration, and some creativity. And so it's moving more into abundance and creation and tangible solutions. Um, and there's definitely some justice coming in. So things are working out in your best interest and things are just really, really coming together. Everything's coming together this month. So whatever's been disappointing, um, there's a closure to that, and you're moving more into this freeing, um, creative energy. So that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to do something that is pretty cool here. I've got some inspiration to use some cards from the personal values card sort. So that is something that I don't think other people are doing. So this is pretty cool. This is something I've done in therapy, but I got this inspiration to do it here in tarot reading, which I think is pretty cool here. So let's pull some cards here to see what you're going to be focused on this month or what you should focus on this month. What can you expect here? Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to pull Some. All right. So over here, we have cards that are just, you don't need to worry about. It's just naturally coming to you. Okay. Duty. Duty. So to carry out your duties and obligations, you've got that down. So you don't have to worry about that. That's just gonna naturally come to you this month, your, your duty. Um, so I think you take your role pretty seriously, um, your work pretty seriously, and that's just, you got that down. There's a lot of stability, I think, in your life. You've really gained and become stable very grounded. Um, we've got foundation down. So it says stability to have a life that stays fairly consistent. So you've got that. And romance. You've got the romance. That's coming this, uh, you, you've got that. So you can see this in your life. It's just going to naturally come to you. You don't really, you can sit back. Your romance is taking care of this month, okay? So Raymond, to have an intense, exciting love in your life. Um, I'm getting the sense that it might be relationship though. 
And, and then over here, we have some areas this month though you, that you might wanna focus in on and to really, these are areas where you can put more energy into and need to be cultivated. So growth, growth to change, to actually change a little bit here this month. Where can you grow? Where, how can you grow? Okay, so I'm thinking you're, you're very stable, you're very um, grounded, right? But where can you move a little bit? Where can you can improve? Comfort, you could focus more on your comfort. Comfort to have a pleasant and comfortable life. You know, what could you do to make your life even better? To have even further comfort in your life. And passion. Passion to have deep feelings about ideas, activities, and people. What are you passionate about? What could you, you know, put your energy into? Maybe some more um, projects or maybe um, some hobbies. You know, how, I think you take your life very seriously, very much grounded in the, the physical realm. Physical realm as in your role, your duty, your job, and probably your relationships, but you've got that. But what about, you know, growing, growing, you know, what kind of interests could you grow in or what kind of skills could you develop? Um, what kind of spiritual growth could you um, give some more attention to? And then comfort, comfort in your life. Um, you would probably benefit from maybe looking at, just it keeps coming to me like maybe your house. You know, how could you maybe expand upon your house to make it more comfortable or to make things just easier for yourself, right? For some reason, I keep, I keep just getting an image of a house and the interior of a house. So maybe there's something that you could do with, with the interior of your house. And then passion, you know, passion is a very um, creative kind of energy, an internal energy. So maybe spend some time more on your feelings and your ideas, um, that internal source of yourself. So I hope that this is helpful here with these cards. I really like this. Please let me know if you like this. I'll continue to do these because I think these cards are really, really great. I think that they can give, you, give us some direction, some um, really clarity on um, the areas um, that, that are, you know, to give us some further messages, in other words, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the soul, soul lessons and soul purpose deck, which I yet again felt called to, to grab. I was going to grab another deck and then they're like, no, <laughs> you know, well, I felt nudge. It's like, no, grab these again. Okay, so what, what is your lesson this month? your vulnerabilities. Where are you vulnerable? Where are you vulnerable? What areas are you neglecting? That's coming to me. Like what, where are you ne neglecting? Why, why, why are you putting in all, so much energy in one area and neglecting other areas? Because we want balance. We want balance in our life. Are you neglecting, are you putting all your energy into work? and your family and neglecting your self-care or neglecting your spirituality or neglecting your creativity? Are you putting all your energy on, you know, the external and neglecting your home? What are you doing here? You know, what are you spending so much time in and what 
other places in your life are you not spending enough time in? So that's what I'm getting with this. Okay, it's, it's also got a house on there. So there's something about houses, houses with this. And looking at this picture, it's got a fire and some water coming out of the house. Okay. And, and so, so for some reason, I really just get the sense this is, this could be an actual house, a physical house here in the real world, not like a symbolic thing. Although for some it may be, but in a physical sense, what areas of your life are you not paying enough attention to? And this could be your actual house or home or you know, your house, your home, your family. So that is the message that I'm getting for you for May. Let's, um, I'm just gonna end here, but let's pull some even further cards from the tarot deck here to just maybe expand upon this just a bit. Yes. So I'm just getting the sense that you are a very stable person. You got it down financially. You, um, you know, this card, I really read as, you know, he's got it together. He's very stable, grounded, um, has somewhat of an authority about his life. And then, you know, you're very passionate about your work. You've, you, you're pretty confident. You're pretty proud of your job. It's like job well done. And you are, you know, you, you've got abundance. Okay, you've got abundance, but yet, what about your internal life? And what areas are you not paying enough attention to? Because now it's more about going into other areas, because you've got a completion here with this. You're definitely, you're transforming. It's time to transform. Maybe spend some time being kinder to yourself and putting yourself in to that place of, of value, service, creation. Yes, going inward, inward. Going within for yourself. Recognizing who you are, there's more to you than just your role and your job. It's time to move past that. Don't neglect that, you know, you, you keep doing what you're doing, but expanding yourself. Yeah. Things. Yeah, being more of a creative force. Um, I think you've got the masculine down, but it's time to develop your feminine energies. That's what I'm getting with this. I'm thinking this is this is about the feminine energies, the creative force here, your emotional body, and then balancing the two. So that's what I think the message is here and the takeaway. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope to see you every month. I, I plan on doing this every month. And let me know about that card sort because I think I think it went really well. I think I'm gonna to continue to do that. And if you like the card sort um, cards in here, please let me know, or if you don't like them. So I will see you next month and I hope your month goes pretty well. Have a good, have a good day, good month, Leo.